Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to change around to remap, if you like, the controls on your Steam Deck when you're using an official profile um, that's recommended for the game and also how to do it with a, a custom profile as well. So I'm in Sniper Elite um, V2 Remastered and the problem with this one for me is in order to aim down sight you have to press the top left shoulder button, that one, which is kind of wrong. I w and then you press the right trigger to fire. I want to aim down sight using the trigger, but in this game it's only soft aim, um, which which is you know I don't, I don't like that. Um, um, so what we can do is there's a couple of ways of doing it. Sometimes you can access the controller settings in game. So in Sniper Elite V2, for example, uh, remastered, we can go to the options screen. We can go to controls, and then we go to controller layout, and this kicks us into the Steam settings so yeah, it kicks us out to there some games you can't do this and with some la layouts you can't but the way that you can always change the controls is if you press the steam button and then let's just get back over here say you, you're in this um you're in your kind of steam menu go to the game and then go to controller settings this will get you into here into the controller settings and then you go down to the bottom to controller settings there and then we've got to the same same part. So as you can see here is we've got this is the control of config we're using at the top, and then we can look to see what it is, and then we can edit it as well. Sometimes before editing, it can be a good idea to go in and have a look at the different uh, configs that are available. And please remember, I've done a video about this as well, but often, especially with older games that came out before the Steam Deck came on the scene, um, there are official uh, configuration controller configurations for steam but they're for the steam controller which is a device that steam no longer makes now you can buy them secondhand but they tend to be quite expensive and so that that the re, so that means that all of the control tips for example are wrong on the screen <laughs> which is a bit of a pain so sometimes it's a good idea just to go straight over to templates and apply the gamepad with joystick trackpad and that in effect makes your um, Steam Deck think that all the controls are simply an Xbox One controller's controls. So that, that's an easy fix. Okay, but let's go back to this one. Let's say we want to edit this layout. And so the problem of, and sometimes it's a good idea to write down the problem you've got. So the problem I've got is I want to swap around the top left shoulder button and the top right trigger button. So we go into edit layout and we go down. So the first one is triggers. Okay, so I go into triggers and it's to do with the left, isn't it? So as we can see, so left soft pull. Now a soft pull does include a full pull as well. So at the moment, when I do a, a L2, it does a shoulder aim. So if I just press A on shoulder aim, I can actually just simply go into and say, well, I want to scope. See, that's changed to scope now. And then we need to go back to the buttons because with the buttons, um, where have I gone past them? We need to find the, the top right we go so l1 at the moment is scope but i want to change that to shoulder aim so that's nice and easy to do it like that as you can see um so now it's going to do exactly what i wanted to now there's lots of other more advanced features you can get into which you can then explore often you will use these in situations where there is no real um config for the game uh, at all um, and you can go in because you can, as you can see here, we have regular press, but this is so powerful, this tool, that the um, Steam controller setup will recognize regular presses, double presses, long presses, start press, release press, soft press. So that there's ways that you can add much functionality just to one button. Um, and in games which are only keyboard and mouse, where you might have, you know, I don't know, say 20 different keyboards um, you have to pr press keyboard keys you have to press this is a way that you can easily use lots of different functions on the same button to recreate say several different uh, keystrokes instead um, but that's the subject for another video we're just doing simple changes there so i do that and then we can come out of here and what you'll notice now is above the official layout for cyber elite v2 it now says scale speeder so it means it's been adjusted for me. You know, I've edited it. So now when we go back into the game, what we should see is now when I press there we go, uh, the left trigger, 
it's difficult to see, isn't it? There we go, left trigger, I ADS, just like I wanted to, and I press the left bump bumper, I just do a soft aim. Nice and easy. So let's look at a different situation now. So let's change over the controller settings to what I would really use on Sniper Elite V2, is we would use the gamepad with joystick trackpad. Press X to apply the layout. Um, and we come out, and what we'll see here is, because when Sniper Elite V2 came out, the official controllers, if you're play, playing on an Xbox or I guess a PlayStation, um, is the fact that the soft aim, the shoulder aim, is just the left trigger. That, that's what it should be in game. Obviously, they changed with Sniper Elite 3 and, and went to the industry standard, which is the other way around. And then to scope in, you have to press the left bumper. So what we want to do is we want to edit this, don't we? Now, we can't... If we go into the game settings, in this case, we go options, uh, controls, and then go to controller layout there, all we get is it just tells us this because the Steam Deck thinks we're using an Xbox controller. It's pretty cool, I know, isn't it? But the way that we edit instead is if we press the Steam button and then you go into the... So you'd be in sort of this sort of menu, wouldn't you? You go into the Sniper Elite section... Go into controller settings and see if it says controller center there. We could tap it or we could select it. And we go to edit layout. Now, what's going to happen here is when we edit this layout, it's not going to give us the command that those buttons relate to. Um, we're just going to have to remap things. So you kind of have to know in your head what things are doing. In this case, this is a very simple edit, so it's not very difficult to do. But in other cases, if you're doing several things, you've got to just write them down. So we know, basically, we want to swap the left trigger and the top left button. So when we press the top left shoulder button or the top left bumper, we want it to be the right trigger, the left trigger. And we want to press when we press the left trigger, we want it to be the left bumper. So if we go to triggers... And we go down to L2. So so we can say so L2 soft pull, which includes a full pull as well. We can add a command. So we press A. And we want the command to be left bumper. So I've just selected left bumper. So you can see, so when I do L2, it's actually going to do the left bumper. So now I go to the buttons. And I find the bumpers. Oops, I wish I just went past. So the L, L1, so we want the left bumper to be the left trigger. So we select left bumper, and then actually, it's already jumped up to left trigger. That might just be the default location where it starts with. So now I select, select that, and now we can see, so L1, which is the left bumper, will now be the left trigger. And then we can come out of that, and we can see as well now, in the config title, it says gamepad with joystick tripod trackpad but it says scale speeder on the top so it means it's been customized by me for me I haven't shared it on the internet or anything like that but it means when we go back into the game when i press my left trigger now that one we ads like i like and when we press the left bumper we just do a soft aim and there we go and that is how we do it okay so hopefully you found this useful if you have it like one see more the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon